already. Here's a quick view of the work that you should have accomplished on the you do. And then we're going to move to the next slide. So if you need more time, you can always rewind. So here we go. We're going to look at another example of what no need using our proportions and our cross multiplication and division. Miss Acton spent $205.60 at Target. If the sales tax is 6%, what was her final bill? So here I see that we are dealing with percents. But even still, we can use percents in our what no need strategy, okay? So the important part knowing about percents is that they are always out of 100%, right? 100% is going to be our whole or our total amount. And then we're also going to be talking about a part of that amount as well. So that's going to be the easiest thing for our labels dealing with percents is part over whole or part over total. So when I see that percent, remember, I know I can always use these labels because a percent is always out of 100%. That's going to show up here in our proportion as well. So if we're talking about a sales tax of 6%, then I know I'm talking about 6 out of 100, right? So this number is actually giving me a fraction. It's giving me two pieces that can go directly into my proportion, which I find a lot easier. So 6 out of 100 is what we know about this proportion. What we need to find out is her final bill. Now this is kind of tricky because the final bill is not actually the 6%. We gotta think about if we find 6% the sales tax, then what would we do to then find her final bill? Well, I know that when we have an amount before tax, we call that the subtotal. So in this case, the subtotal is $205.60. And then when we look at a receipt, we add the tax together, which is something that we are missing to get the final total. Okay, so we are going to actually do two steps in this problem. First, we can find the amount of tax, then we will add it to that subtotal amount to find her final bill. So right now we can go ahead and use T for tax because that's what we're trying to find first. And we know that so far her total bill is $205.60. So that's going to go into our proportion. How do we then solve? Well, we go ahead and cross multiply and divide. So $205.60 times six gets us $1,233.60. And I know 100 times T is going to be on the right hand side. Now that we've cross multiplied, we are left to divide both sides by 100. And once we divide by 100, our T or our tax is $12.34 after I round. So if the tax is $12.34, I know that is not her final bill, right? We, we wish. That is actually going to be the tax that we are going to add to our total. So $12.34. And now we can go ahead and add those together. And we're going to get $217.94. So the final bill is $217.94. So again, we used our proportion of what no need. And then we cross multiplied and divided. And then at the end, we used what we found to add to the subtotal to get the final bill. We're gonna try some more percent, percent problems here in a bit.